All right, so I guess I'm back to YouTube. I said I was just gonna go old school and just do it from my camera phone and do it in my car on a usual day. I'm doing it at the makeup hair trap, but I guess I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna be pressured by having the fancy lighting and the high class camera and the fun, fancy editing because that's what kind of kept me from making YouTube videos and sticking with it. So I'm gonna just go old school and go rogue and just camera phone and then we gonna talk about what we gonna talk about so i guess i need to give you guys an updated uh self-love journey i'm about to go on my 12th year of my self-love journey and yeah 12th year of my self-love journey crazy what's the update no real new updates i think um i'm focusing a lot on dating and relationship advice because i'm reading so much and i'm learning so much and i'm experiencing so much real life about dating relationships and also myself i'm discovering a lot of different things about myself constantly learning myself um constantly being aware of things that i do why i do them i did go back to therapy to just double check behind myself and make sure i was doing the right things in a certain situation um things of that sort okay so let's go into talking real quickly about dating when you're out here dating or in a relationship you're probably not going to find a lot of high quality people with the character traits that will allow you guys to have a long-term healthy relationship because the fact of the matter is therapy needs to be mandated and therapy needs to be free okay nothing wrong with therapy is a big stigmatism around therapy and black folk thinking you crazy if you are seeing a therapist it's not necessarily that you're crazy. It's just if you go to the gym and work your body out and you eat the right things to make your body healthy, you want to go to a therapist to make sure your mind, your soul, your spirit, all that is healthy and clean too. So um, I wish that therapy could be, could be cool. And it turns me on a lot to find out that somebody has gone through therapy or is going through therapy because that's very rare to go through therapy and do what you need to do to make yourself a better person inside and out. Um, a couple of things that you guys need to look out for when you're dating. Um, a lot of people talk about narcissists. That's a huge thing I see on social media. A lot of people talk about narcissists, but there are other things to look for and other things to be aware of. And I think that you guys should read books about these different personality disorders, um, mental disorders. Because I, I want you to recognize who you're dealing with. So narcissist is one. Huge. A lot of people can be that. Multiple personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder. Um, people who are low self-esteem. That may be suicidal. Want to harm others. When they don't get their way. Um, I have a nice long list too. Uh, people that suffer from PTSD, that may not necessarily have been in the military or in the service, but you've experienced it in your neighborhood or um, growing up as a child uh, from family members, things that you went through in your life and just everyday life can have you with PTSD. Um, people who, had, who have childhood traumas and people just do stuff to you and they're they're spewing stuff onto you that they've dealt with in childhood and they're a certain way because they dealt with certain things in childhood and it's not allowing them to be a functional person in a relationship or a dating situation for that matter. Um, I wish I would have wrote this stuff down. I did ask, wish I would have wrote this stuff down because it's more than just looking out for a narcissist. It's definitely more than just looking out for, people going dealing with depression these things can keep you from finding a really good mate. And these things can be solved or addressed or worked on or made better by that person going to therapy and dealing with those issues. On top of those mental disorders, we have people who just flat out, you know, hoping that you don't cheat on them and hope you don't do, do, dirt, do dirt to them. And they're not 100% committed to the relationship because they're not sure if you're going to be dedicated and you're going to play games. So they playing games and they halfway in a relationship and halfway talking to somebody else and not taking a relationship serious because it may not work anyway. And they got that attitude about it. 
Um, so you got to look out for people who are not 100% committed to using your time wisely in the dating or relationship realm. Um, so people are scared to commit because they're scared to get played. So they're scared to commit all the way. Um, you have people that are just flat out selfish and are not compatible enough to be a good mate because they're too selfish. They still have single ways about them that don't benefit inviting somebody into your life. You got a lot of people that, with the mental disorders, will disturb your goddamn peace. Will disturb your peace. You have to be so cutthroat in the dating scene. When you see stuff that you know you ain't about to deal with, don't brush it under the rug. You need to let it go. This is why you're not finding who you need to find and settling down with who you need to settle down because you're brushing stuff under the rug, wasting time, and they end up, you know, not being the right person for you. You knew that in the beginning, but you brushed it under the rug because you're so desperate. You have to be in a situation and a mind frame and a healthy mental state and a point of self-love where you don't need a relationship. You're happy. You're at peace. Life is giving you what you need. You have a nice balance, work, friends, social life hobbies entrepreneurship spirituality family you have to have a balance and be peaceful and happy and create a life that you want and love before you're able to get in a relationship or before you're able to date and date with discernment when you're in a good place self-love wise it's easy to cut somebody off in a day if they like oh no this ain't what i want mm -hmm. and you're not so desperate to deal with they shit and brush stuff under the rug because you're so desperate for somebody to be in your life so desperate to have a mate you got to have real thick skin and lots of self-love to be able to go through this date because this dating thing is a numbers game next next when people start showing you what you don't want to deal with for the rest of your life next you got to be able to say that you can't be like well maybe he'll change maybe she'll change do you know how hard it is to break your own habits thinking somebody else gonna change or you gonna change somebody else be okay with being single. You have to be okay with being, and if you're not okay with being single, you need to go ahead and uh, start your self-love journey. <laughs> you really do, because that's the point that I've come to over the past couple of years. I've came to the point where I'm I'm on my self-love journey. I'm appreciating my self-love journey. I'm appreciating where I'm at in life. And even where, if I'm not where I'm at in life, I'm still able to date and not settle because I know what I want, I know what I need, and I know that it's necessary, it's not necessary to have somebody in my life, so I'm, I'm not in a rush. I go through them like dirty diapers if I have to, but I'm not gonna hold on to Mr. Wrong or Mrs. Wrong just because I feel like I need to get in a relationship. I need somebody. It's not a need, there's no void. No, there's no void. A relationship to me is a bonus. It's extra, it's a luxury, because life is good. I was born in this by myself, I'm gonna be buried in the coffin by myself. So I have friends, I have family, I have people in my life that I love and that love me back and a relationship will be a bonus. It really would. Um, but I'm not gonna settle because your life partner is gonna affect your life in a major way. So choose the right person. They're gonna affect a lot of things about your life because they're with you every day. So you have to choose the right person and you have to have enough self-love to not want to rush and just accept anything and settle you gotta be also have the characteristics and the character traits of somebody that that wants to be with you like you're that desirable type of person you have to be to that point for you gotta be mentally set with yourself in order to be able to track and keep certain people in your life and you find that good one you have I, i'm all over the place in this video but if it's something specific that you want me to talk about put it down in the uh in the comment section and i'll address those videos you know make those videos eventually okay about this makeup i should be putting it up if i haven't already put this tutorial up i'm trying to get back into makeup cooking everything okay so there you have it i'm, I'm just about to get off here because i'm just rambling right now but don't settle when you're dating make sure you are dateable highly dateable um and yeah don't don't be in a rush to just accept anything like, love yourself enough to wait on the right thing. We do the same thing when we car shop and we want to get what we like and what we want. Same thing when you're trying to find a mate. But anyway, leave your comments down below what you want me to address and we'll talk about it. Lots of...